This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. So, moving on. Penalties for late payment or late filing. Now, these are new penalties. Okay, they've just been introduced and they replace what's known as the default surcharge system. Now, they will only be examined in context of quarterly VAT returns. So the illustration that I'm going to show you in a moment has come from ACCA. And therefore, that's the kind of thing, if they're going to examine this, that's the kind of thing that they are going to examine. So again, make sure that you're uh, fully um, understanding this example, this illustration. And then you can use your manual uh, to check out further information. And then you can also use your um, exam kit to, to test your knowledge. So there are now two separate sets of penalties. A late filing penalty, which is a points base, and then a late payment um, penalty. Now you always get, you're also going to get interest on any VAT that remains outstanding. So let's have a look at the late filing penalties. Under a points-based system, a business incurs a penalty point each time a quarterly VAT return is submitted late. If a penalty threshold of four points is reached, £200 penalty is then charged. And then subsequent late penalties also are £200 each. Penalty points normally expire after two years, so you carry them with you. Okay. It says they do not expire once the penalty threshold is reached. You've got to hold on to those for two years and then they start to drop out. Once the penalty threshold has been reached, a business has to submit VAT returns on time over a period of 12 months, which is four times in order for it all to be reset to zero. The illustration will make that a little bit more clear. Each late penalty is subsequently considered separately. No penalty is charged if the VAT liability is paid within 15 days of the due date. 2% is charged if it's paid within 16 and 30 days. 4% if it's later than 30 days. In addition, where the VAT liability is paid more than 30 days late, there is a daily penalty of an annual rate of 4% beginning after the initial 30-day period. I think they're trying to tell you to pay your VAT on turn. And if you don't pay your VAT on time, they're going to slap you with some penalties. And then, regardless of whether any late payment penalties are incurred, there is also interest charged from the due date until the date that the VAT liability is paid. So that's a penalty, 2% and 4% on the amount of VAT that's outstanding. And then you've got interest. So there's the summary of the VAT um, situation that you'll find yourself in. It will be in the rates. So let's have a look at the illustration so that you can see what's happening. So Amanda was late in submitting her VAT returns and paying the liabilities as follows. So her 30th of June 23 VAT was 32,000. She was 10 days late. Then in September, she was 50 days late. Something must have happened there. December, she was 18 days late. And the following March, she was eight days late. And each quarter is then going to be dealt with um, individually. So there's no penalty in the first quarter. Um, because the liability was paid within that 15 days of the due date, but she gets one penalty point. And she gets some late payment interest. So that's the VAT. That's the amount. And that is the number of days. Quarter ended 30th September. OK, we have a 4% penalty charge because the VAT liability was more than 30 days late. You'll notice that is the rule. And this is the application. 
as with all taxes, what is the rule, what is the application. There's also a daily penalty for 20 days. Um, this amounts to £79. And a further penalty point, so she's now got two, and some late payment interest. So each of those different things is brought to bear. Write down the rule, work out the penalties. Now the penalties and all that, that, that this bit here is all in the rates. So it's really a case of working out the maths um, for that. But make sure that you write down the rules as well. Again, the December quarter, a 2% penalty is charged because it was paid within 16 to 30 days. A further penalty point, now she's got three, and some late interest. Number four, fourth quarter, no penalty because it was paid within 15 days. Another penalty point, now she's reached the threshold. So she's going to get a £200 penalty charge and some more late interest. All of that penalties and interest is not allowable as an expense in her tax adjusted profits. She has to incur the costs of those. Now what happens if you make an error on your VAT return? Okay, if you make an error on your VAT return and there is an underpayment, then you'll get a standard penalty for submission of an incorrect return and again the penalty situation. So net errors of less than the de minimis or the lower limit that's another word for lower limit it's latin can be voluntarily disclosed by the trader correction is made by simply entering the errors on the next return there may be a penalty but you won't get any interest charged so basically hands up i did it wrong this is what i need to do and i'm going to put it right Net errors of more than that de minimis level, you again can voluntarily de disclose. You must disclose these errors separately to the revenue. Um, you'll get penalty interest and a penalty for submission of an incorrect return if it's above the de minimis level, which we're going to look at in a moment. Now, if they find it on a control visit, you're going to get slapped with all sorts of things. You don't want it to be found on a control visit, to be honest. And this is the de minimis levit. The greater of £10,000 or 1% of the turnover subject to an upper limit of £50,000. Okay. If the submission of an incorrect return leads to an underpayment of VAT, it could lead to that or it could lead to a failure of inflated claim um, for repayment of tax okay if that is the case the amount of penalty is based on the amount of tax understated but it's linked to your behavior if you've simply made a mistake no penalty if it's a moderate penalty up to 30 percent of the understated tax You'll get that if you've taken reasonable care. So it's not an absolute mistake. You've taken reasonable care, but you've made a mistake in doing that. Now, if you've done it deliberately, whoops, you're going to get 70% penalty on top of that. And if you also did it deliberately and then concealed it, they're going to do 100% of the understated tax. Okay. Now, if these come up, and they don't come up very often, they're really going to test your um, registration. Um, can you do historic? Can you do um, future registration? They're going to perhaps test you on your ability to be able to do like the example we did with output VAT, input VAT, where you've got entertaining cars and machines, inclusive and exclusive of VAT, because that's a general knowledge. So this this information here, while it's important, as I've told you before in different different situations, there are some things that are really important and some things that are not so important. 
and this is probably not so important. So don't waste a lot of time learning all these penalties and interests and things um, because it doesn't come up very often. If it does come up, it's going to be a very small section of the exam. And as I've mentioned to you before, it's unlikely you'll be able to do the whole of the exam anyway. And there are some very important parts of this TX manual that you must be able to do. This is something that you might be able to do when you can do all the musts. So example number six, let's have a look at that. So Blanche has made an error relating to an understated output VAT of eight and a half on a VAT return for the quarter ended. She had a quarter of turnover of £700,000. How should it be disclosed to the revenue? What penalties and interest will be charged? Okay, so let's have a look at the model answer and see how we go. So here we can see the answer to example number six. So we've done the de minimis calculation. So it's the greater of the £10,000 or 1% of the turnover. So the de minimis level is therefore 10,000. As the error is less than the de minimis level, it can be disclosed on the next VAT return. And then we've given them a date for the next VAT return. No interest will be charged, but a penalty for submission of an incorrect return could be imposed unless she it simply made a mistake. If she believes, if the revenue believes that she failed to take care, then the penalty was 30%. And you can argue that. You can argue that it was simply a mistake. Um, and the revenue, are, are they're not overly harsh with these penalties. These penalties are to collect um, tax from people who are doing this deliberately. If you simply made a mistake, then the revenue are more likely to believe you. It's where you've done it deliberately and then you've concealed it. They're more after the 70 and the 100% penalties than they are for the smaller ones.